guys, it's Giselle. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing the winter edition of the Pop Sugar Must Have Box. This subscription is a quarterly lifestyle subscription and it comes with a price tag of $75 plus tax. It is free shipping. I'm not sure if it is free shipping um, anywhere in the US. It is one of the pricier subscription boxes out there. So I'm going to need your help in deciding if this is a subscription that I should continue with or if that money would be better spent on other subscription boxes. Let's dive right into this winter 2019 edition Pop Sugar Must Have box. Opening it up. That's what it looks like. The top cover here, it says happiness delivered and it looks like it is a crossword puzzle. So, yep, let's see what we have. As you know, the box comes with this booklet right here that tells you all about the items that were specifically handpicked by the Pop Sugar editors. First item we have up here, it looks like it is some kind of a travel makeup bag of sorts. Hudson and Bleeker Preto Nomad Round Travel Case. So it's got a cute little handle here. Looks like a little hat box actually. This is vegan leather. All right, so let's open this up and see what it looks like. That is super cute. Love the inside here with the black and white striped lining. And it also comes with this interior clear bag and it appears that this is the TSA friendly clear bag, which is always nice because I'm always looking for that. Um, so that's what it looks like. Suggested retail value of this travel case is $48. Next item up from the box looks like it's a beauty product. Blush from Kevin Aquan Beauty. It's a Neo Blush in Rose Cliff. Instant glow in the dead of winter. Use this creamy powder that's easy to apply. It comes in this really cute makeup case. Um, sorry, yeah, I've got, already got fingerprints on it, but it comes in this cool looking makeup case, which is like this midnight plum shimmery uh, look to it. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like an ombre color right there. That is gorgeous. So you can use each shade individually or you can blend them together. So I'm gonna swatch both sides. Here are the two shades. I think those are really pretty. This little bronzy color right here is very shimmery. A suggested retail value of the Kevin Aquan blush is $38. I'm actually pretty happy with this item right here. We have, okay, so it's another Thai jewelry. So I do know what's in this bag because they sent me an email. It's one of the customizable items. You could have chosen from three different jewelry items. The first being a rainbow arc necklace small rainbow huggies or the silver medallion pendant necklace and i don't know if you can see that that is the rainbow arc necklace you could have chosen or the again i don't know if you can see that little rainbow huggy earrings or the silver medallion which is the one that i chose it's a very delicate chain Really not focusing, but that's what it looks like. I can't get it to focus. It's a cute little silver necklace. It's on a really delicate chain. 
It's almost a little too delicate for my liking because I feel like one wrong movement on your neck and the I feel like the chain is just going to break. I'm not sure if it's something that I am going to keep for myself or if I am going to be gifting it to a loved one. It's a fairly cute necklace. I will say this. This is the second item that I've received from this Thai brand and I'm not super excited with their items. It, they're not um they're not items that I would normally go to the store and purchase for myself. You know, everyone has different tastes in jewelry. Uh so far these items are not really uh something that I would have chosen for myself at um at a store. It's silver plated. Okay, I do want to mention that. It's not sterling silver. My experience with anything that's been silver plated or gold plated is after several uses, it kind of starts to dull and sometimes um, I do get a reaction where my skin will turn like a green color. Does that happen to you? Does that happen to anybody else? Next up, we have this box. This flat little rectangle box and it looks like it is by the brand Nima Oberoi Lunaires. Let's see what they sent us. This is one of the items that they sent me a sneak peek of. It isn't, it wasn't customizable, but they did send me a sneak peek of this. This is, oh wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, so it is this dish right here, rectangle dish, and on the outer part of it, as you can see, it's got this like chromey silver look to it. And inside is this gorgeous uh, glazed look with uh, black and white. And it is the Nima Obero Lunaires Bianco Nero Rectangle Dish Tray. They're calling it the anything dish. So you can use it for serving snacks. Um, decor on your coffee table or storing pencils at the office. You can also use it in the bathroom. You can, uh, you know, store your jewelry here as you're taking a shower or getting ready in the morning. You can, um, you know, keep your jewelry safe here. So this is super cute. Um, I know this isn't everyone's taste but this kind of contemporary look is right up my alley. I really like this piece. I think it's beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to be using it on my desk or um, I may use it in my bedroom, you know, on my nightstand so I can, you know, put uh, rings or jewelry in here. It is handmade and it's using this ancient technique called sand casting. And it's made of recycled materials, which is awesome. Suggested retail value of this dish is $69. Wow, that is an expensive little dish. <laughs> so I am actually quite happy with this, um, with this item. I'm, I'm impressed with this one. Next up, we have this kapha oil from ms skincare and it is a body oil it says you can apply to damp skin directly after bathing or pour a small amount of oil into a warm bath for an immersive aromatherapy experience helps reduce the appearance of cellulite scars and skin damage so, this puppy works magic, apparently. It comes in this cool little bottle here. And you get four fluid ounces. Energizing, rejuvenating, and invigorating. Okay. 
going to massage some into my hand right here. Oh. It's got a very light scent. I don't wear lots of perfumes or things with scents because my boyfriend has really bad asthma, but this, this kind of has, this kind of reminds me of something that I smell during Christmas time. This is nice, calm, and relaxing. It has a very light scent to it. This is nice. It doesn't feel too oily on the skin. You know how some, some oils feel really oily? Um, maybe it's because I have really dry skin right now. Mm, it smells really good. It's got like a cinnamony, a cinnamon smell or something. What is that smell? I can't pinpoint what that scent is, but it's very light, very light. This isn't something that I would normally use all the time. Um, it's not part of my routine. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this or passing this on to a loved one, but this is a cool product. And it says that the suggested retail value for this bottle is $68. Next up, we have this big box right here which looks like it's a reed diffuser. The scent is supposed to last three to four months. The scent includes notes of cashmere, eucalyptus, and lilac and entwined with earthy vetiver. Vetiver? V -v 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 what? So yeah, it's a smelly reed diffuser with cashmere, eucalyptus, lilac, sandalwood, amber, all that good stuff. Um, Alcohol-free, perfume-grade fragrance oils. So I can tell you right now that this is probably not something that I am going to be keeping for myself. As I mentioned before, I don't really use a lot of scented things. Um, I mean, naturally scented things are okay, but as far as anything perfumey or really smelly, I don't use. This is a nice smell. Mm. I wish I could keep this. This smells like, it smells like a hunky man. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Smells like a hunky man. <laughs> so anyways, that's what it looks like inside. I'm not going to take it apart because I'm not going to keep this. Um, I'll be passing this on to a loved one. Um, but oh, it does smell so good. Oh, I wish I could keep it, but I can't. So um, yeah, we'll be passing this along to somebody. Um, that's what it looks like right here. And suggested retail value for this is $48. So next item up is this set of eight blank cards and envelopes by the company Rifle Paper Company. And it looks like it is a gold foil detail. Um, cards say Merci and they're blank inside and they have this cool little floral design on them. And I'm actually, uh, pleasantly surprised with this item because I love all things stationary. So this is right up my alley um, in today's world where everyone kind of just sends texts or emails. I do like the fact of sending somebody um, a real handwritten card or note. I think it's really personal. So um, I'm it, I'm happy with this item and it looks like suggested retail value for this is $18. Um, that's kind of expensive for eight blank note cards, but 
I get it. It's a specialty item. Let's see what else we have. It's food. Somebody say food. Fast Bar Nutrition Bar. Experience fasting and nutrition for weight management and healthy aging. Hmm. Fast Bar is a proprietary blend of nuts and cocoa powder. I'm down to tr for trying new things. I've never tried um, this kind of bar before. I will say I'm, I like the kind bars and those kinds of bars, no pun intended. Um, so the kind bars are good. I wonder if this is something that's similar to that. Um, willing to try it. Uh, so suggested retail value for this is $3. I'm not super excited about the nut bar, but you know, it is what it is. It looks like the last thing in this box is a coupon code for uh, Charles and Col Colvar. It is a 25% off coupon code for Charles and Colvard Jewelry Company. Uh, the question isn't who's going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. It's a cute little saying. Suggested retail value of everything that came in this box was $352. It's pretty good. So $352 value on an $80 box or $75 plus tax box. Nothing in this box really screamed winter box to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, if you got this box, let me know in the comment section below what you thought. I have really mixed feelings about this box. I really do. It's kind of a pricier box to be getting, quite honestly. I think that, um, I don't know, you let me know in the comment section below if you think that this box deserves another, um, another go around for the, um, the next box. I don't know, I kind of felt like this box wasn't all that exciting. I was hoping it was going to be, you know, really capturing the holiday uh, season. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If there is another lifestyle subscription box that you'd like me to try, let me know. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the 2019 Winter Pop Sugar Must Have box. If you liked the video, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below uh, what your favorite item was. Also, let me know some other lifestyle subscription boxes uh, that you might like to see on this channel. Also, if you received this box, let me know what your favorite item was and what your least favorite item was. If you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!